All right, all right, all right. So in uh, this video, I'm going to show you how to kind of change your keyboard layout a little bit or like talk about why you should. So first of all, QWERTY, the most common layout. Um, this can be changed in one small way. And if there's one thing to change about any layout you use, no matter what, it's to move the delete key over here to caps lock. You can do that with PC keyboard layout for uh, Mac. There's other, you know, ways of doing this for other OS's, I'm certain. Um, but uh, this is the one for Mac, so there'll be a link in description. Basically, that's just what it does, is that it moves delete over to where caps lock is. And that's because this is where your pinky is, and that's where delete is. And delete is one of the most common keys used. And to have to reach like that is, uh, I actually, I developed carpal tunnel from it. And, and it took a while to, to get rid of it, so I really recommend moving it over here. You'll get used to it in less than two hours, I, I swear. It's almost immediate that you'll stop using delete key. And it, it feels really nice. Also the fact that it's on the left side means that as you type and untype, it, uh, you know, like, you're going along and blah, 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 and you make a mistake. It's nice to have it over here on the left side where you can, you know, do that and it shows me hitting this key but really I'm hitting this one um, so PC keyboard hack really recommend it other than that there's actually a whole thing about um, saving yourself from carpal tunnel for the most part or taking stress off your fingers or being able to type faster um, QWERTY to start off was designed for old typewriter keyboards and it, a lot of people say it was designed to slow down typing which is not really what it was, it was designed for. It was, it was designed to keep uh, from jams, which in order to do that, they had to move keys that were kind of, that shouldn't be too close together away from each other. And that means kind of the more commonly used keys had to be pushed apart. And that did end up leading to having a slower layout. Uh, if you notice, A, H, and S are the only commonly used letters that you can find on home row. And I'll get more into, you know, good type, layout theory but basically home row is important and most important is right here where your index fingers are these are this is the easiest second easiest or actually I think easiest second easiest third fourth to do and then like reaches are you know pinky reaches are bad index and middle finger reaches are, are just totally fine up is better than down these are all things that go into the theory of it um, the next one to come around was Dvorak, and people were not allowed to use Dvorak in typing competitions because it was so much faster. Uh, something to notice is that AE, IOU, this is all under one hand, while the most common consonants are under the other, and that leads to basically a lot of time that you're typing, like the, um, here, if you notice, boom, 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 it's, it's constantly back and forth, like, you know, constant vowel, constant vowel, constant vowel, because that's how words work. And it's really nice, very quick, uh, feels really good, feels really flowy. A lot of words kind of come out like the, or she, or out, and you can notice that it's like just one line, outs, uh, knots is not quite so nice, but most of the time it's really just flowy, you know, it'll, it'll go around in nice patterns that are, they feel good. Of all the layouts I've tried, Dvorak is by far the most um, beautiful feeling layout but it doesn't line up very well with certain um, things that we've already kind of decided upon within computing. Uh, that unfortunately, uh, there was no plan to make it so that they would integrate with other type layouts, which is why Colmac is one of the more popular ones coming up. I've tried it out, I like it, but it's not super nice. Uh, the difference here though is that Z, X, uh, C, and V are all right where they should be for most people, which is, you know, control Z, undo, control X, um, co cut, copy, paste, and then control Q is, is quit. And those are, are really nice. Also control T and control S are, are right, you know, within this range, which is good. That does not happen so much with Dvorak, especially because, uh, never mind, but most of your command shortcuts, you know, are going to be gone, or your, your you know, whatever control shortcuts, I guess, for, for Windows. Anyways, uh, that's that's a big problem with QWERTY, and it will, it's it's kind of, it's uh, Achilles heel. The one I use is uh, 
based off this study by an MIT guy, uh, or maybe multi multiple MIT guys, I'm, I'm not totally sure, or women too, I, I, you, you get what I'm saying, so M MIT people did it, and um, basically they put uh, all sorts, or first of all, they, they designed something that would figure out how far each finger was moving as typing was happening. So like, you know, this this is a, a bad movement that they kind of rated as like a certain amount of distance and whatever, like stress and figured out how much stress that is compared to just leaving it in place. Um, and uh, that's, you know, that's the basic gist of it is that like if you have to move your pinky down like that or over here, that's that's not a good thing or up here, that's that's really not that great. And if you can type your words in this area right here that's that's the best that you can do so it's designed around keeping finger movement to a minimum keeping your hands on the home row as much as possible and making sure that your index and middle finger get the most of it or actually that's that's basically how they they, they tested everything so um, let's see can I find it uh, QWERTY got an effort of, of 3.0 which is almost twice as much as uh, a couple other ones um, Colmac actually has a, a pretty nice rating here of uh, 1.842. I, I couldn't find Dvorak on this page, unfortunately. Um, but uh, Colmac, Colmac does really well, and in terms of like being popular and most used, it's it's uh, it might be one of the best bets. I do recommend Dvorak just because it will come pre-installed with Mac, and I, I think every other every other system should probably have it at this point it's it's really old it it goes back to the time of of, of like just beginning typing when typing races were just starting so it's it's a good one um, but Colmac is is really nice the one that I use though it, it was called QG M L W Y here Quigley or something like that I, I don't like that name so I changed it to Wonderplan also, there's a couple small differences in mine um, that I just I put in through this program called a uh, ukulele. I, I guess I should have a tab open for that already. Um, let's see, ukulele keyboard layout. I'm, I'm still getting used to typing this, so I'm sort of a slow typer still, which is unfortunate. But I do still recommend uh, um, doing that. Okay, yeah, this one's just for Mac, but it's a it's a keyboard layout editor if you really feel like having special things like for instance on mine uh, it says thumbs if I control uh, hold hold uh, control and then uh, click thumbs or click seven you know it'll, it'll type out the word thumbs for me it's, it's funny it's just silly things and uh, that's that's kind of a cool thing you could do but the point more is that it, it got the lowest uh, amount of effort rating and I figured I might as well try it out because you know, someone has to test things out, right? Um, but if I'm really going to give good advice, I'm not going to say use the this random layout I use, though I do very much like it. It does, oh, a couple other nice things about it that uh, I didn't find so much in Dvorak is that S is in the same place it normally would be, all of these are in the same place it normally would be, Q is in the same place, and uh, everything, like, you know, new window is, is right there, closed window is, is one hand, new tab is one hand and I use these all the time um, so I never never really have to use any of, of these keys over here for my, my control uh, what do you call them? my shortcuts uh, my hotkeys um, other than that I don't know what else to say about it it's it's nice I do recommend Dvorak uh, mostly um, because it's just the nicest feeling one. It really is a beautiful feeling keyboard layout, which is a strange thing to say, but like, it's kind of a dance, like a finger dance, and this one has the best steps. It's the least, like, QWERTY is just ugly as all get out. It's all over the place. This one is definitely more one hand, one hand, one hand, one hand, one hand, and it just feels really, really good when you start getting good at it. Um, though it isn't really that great for integrating with you know, copy paste and all your short your shortcuts, and that's that's it's, uh, that's what's too bad about it. Colmac is also really nice. Um, these are all just nice things you could do. Uh, a final thing, if you really want to go all out, is they have special keyboard, uh, and I might have to buy one of these just to try it out. 
and these are you know designed around you can see I've delete and enter here space is nice and reachable by both hands there's a number pad the uh, arrow keys which are the most um, carpal tunnel inducing part of my layout at the moment are, are in a nicer place these are all, all things that go into it basically you don't want to be bending your wrists you don't want to be moving your fingers too much and you don't want to be putting a lot of pressure um, just try moving your hands around on your keyboard you know like see what happens when you reach up versus what happens when you reach down see how it is to move your pinky here and there versus your fingers your, your pointer fingers and you'll, you'll see what the, the basic gist of it is if nothing else to take from this you and everyone else that you know should and I don't like to tell people what they should and shouldn't do but really should uh, move delete um, key over to here because that's that's really it's just carpal tunnel that's we're going to be using computers for the rest of our lives you know it's about time everyone accepts that and this is this is a more proper place you don't want to be bending your wrists or else you will almost inevitably end up with carpal tunnel when you're older and I imagine a lot of people are going to in this generation because we have not invested very much in the ergonomics of typing and if you want to do that, go ahead. A good way to learn to type on these new ones is Type Racer, by the way. I'll just send a link there. It's pretty fun. You, uh, you, you, you start a race, and they give you a quote from some book. Usually nice quotes. You go through, race against people, see so you can type faster. And it's fun. You know, it's a good way to get yourself used to typing. Um, I believe that's about it. Thanks for watching. Oh, and, and really do, really do get this. It takes a little bit, you'll get used to it in like two hours, and y you'll like it. You really will. No one uses caps lock anyways. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching.